Absolutely, Asta. The prices for our dental services can vary based on the specific treatment or procedure you're interested in. It would be best to speak with one of our team members directly to get an accurate quote. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to connect you with someone who can provide more detailed pricing information? Welcome back, this is Asta with Chatbot Builder. Today I'll be showing you how to set up your very own voice-only AI chatbot. Perfect, so as you can see, this is what you'll be greeted with when clicking on the Flow AI Welcome Message audio. And we're gonna set this up entirely from scratch. Now, let me just delete these nodes right here. We'll have to keep one open. So what I can do is simply click on this and we can see whatever is inside and just delete that. Right, so this is pretty much right from the beginning. Um, if you're wondering how to get this node right here, you will click on the little plus icon at the bottom and then click on send message. And so you'll be given this right here. It's the same thing. So for this example, we'll be using this. Now, first step, click on this, click on add content, actions, open AI. You wanna click on this and make sure it's all properly set up. So you got generate text, which is good. The model, which is 3.5 Tober 16K. This comes as a default with your account, so you don't even need to include your own API key. Absolutely amazing, right? <laughs> now for business information, this is where you put all of the information on your business, such as the opening times, closing times, etc. So everything that the bot needs to reference for it to know that this is your business. But now we would, what we're gonna do is, on where it says safe response to a custom field, we wanna click on AI welcome message right here and click continue. That's the first one done. From here, where it says continue, drag this out to a second node. In this one, you wanna click on add content, actions, and look for open AI and click the one again. Now this one will set up a little bit differently. Where it says generate text, we'll click on that and look for convert text to speech. Perfect. The input text, will be the custom field that was in the previous node that we had selected, which will be AI welcome message. The voice type is entirely up to you. I prefer a shimmer. And then where it says safe response to a custom field, we want to select AI welcome audio. That's the one we want to select. Perfect. Now we're going to click on continue and that is the second node done. Now lastly, where it says continue here, drag this out add content and then where it says file you want to click on that and then click on audio right here you want to click on insert link and so in here we're going to select ai welcome audio so that is the output and that is entirely it you have now created the ai welcome message audio output flow now that we have set up the AI welcome message voice only we're going to set up the default reply so that we can demo this and show you exactly how it would work as you can see, we have the AI default reply easy audio, which is the one we'll be using. So let's click, click on this. As you can see, we've got three different nodes. We're going to delete these and set them up from absolute scratch. So let's start with the deleting and click on this one, remove this. Now in order to get, this is what we call an action node. And in order to get this, you need to press the bottom cross and select actions. Now you have pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna delete this one and we'll use this one instead. We're gonna click on this, add content, actions, and select OpenAI, this is the first one. Then we're gonna click on OpenAI here and set this up. So generate text, GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K, business information, your helpful assistant for Elite Dental. Respond to the user's questions in a warm and friendly tone. Great. Then the safe response to a custom field will be AI default reply right here and click continue. Now this is the first one complete. I'm gonna click on continue, drag this out, add content actions, open AI. Now we're gonna click on this and select from the top, convert text to speech. The input text is the one that we have just selected in the previous one, the custom field. So let's see, that was AI default reply. The voice type that I like to select is Shimmer. That's the one that I personally prefer the most. And then we wanna save the response to a custom field, which is AI default audio. 
Now this will be for the audio output. So continue. Now we've got two of them complete, third one left. Add content, and we're gonna click on file and audio. Insert link, and here we're gonna enter the custom field, which was the AI default audio. So let's look for that, AI default audio. Perfect. Click on publish. And now we have to set up two more things to make sure that everything works perfectly. Ensure that you have your AI automated reply turned off in your settings, integrations, open AI chat GPT, section and click save. Ensure you activate this flow as your default reply in your settings, general tab and click save. So for you guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how that is done. So I've just published it again. We're gonna head back and we're gonna head straight over to settings. The first thing that we're gonna do is head on over to integrations open AI chat GPT and turn this on right off. Click save and then head over to general, default reply, AI default reply, easy audio. This is the one that we're gonna select and click save. Perfect, so now we're gonna head back over to flows and we're gonna test this. So head over to AI, head on over to AI welcome message audio and let's preview this right now. Continue. And this is the first message that we're getting. Let me just put my volume up so we can all hear it. Hello, how can I assist you today? Right, so I'm gonna continue this conversation in voice. I'm gonna click on this right here, this little icon, and say, hi, my name is Asta. Who am I speaking with again? Now my, my audio is being sent over and I should get a response back in audio in a few seconds. Bam, let's listen to this. You're speaking with a helpful assistant for Elite Dental. How can I assist you today? I was wondering what the prices were like. Do you have any information on that? Now, I won't have any information on that because I didn't include it in the default reply. But if I had included, it would now reference that. So either it's going to make up something right now, or two, it will say, I do not have this information. So let's see what it says. Absolutely. Asta. The prices for our dental services can vary based on the specific treatment or procedure you're interested in. It would be best to speak with one of our team members directly to get an accurate quote. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to connect you with someone who can provide more detailed pricing information? Ooh, now that's very interesting. So I haven't given it any information on pricing. If I were to give it information on pricing, it would now tell me that. But it has told me it can connect me with a human representative. So let's just... Head on back to flows, open inbox in a new tab. As you can see that the bot is active. So if I say, yes, please, or sure, that sounds great. Let's see if it will connect me with a human representative. Yes, I would like to speak to someone. That would be perfect. Um, I do need prices today, so the quicker the better. Just send this. Now let's see what it will respond with. Now, of course, if I were to give it information on the pricings and products, so on and so forth, it will tell me all of that information. Um, in this instance, it does not have that information. So the best course of action it decided to take was to suggest to connect me with someone that can then further discuss the pricing with me. So let's see what it comes back with. You're all set, Asta. A team member will be with you shortly to provide the pricing information you need. If you have any other questions in the meantime, feel free to ask. Now let's see if it has taken the bot away and transferred the conversation to a human. That would be absolutely insane. Inbox. Let me refresh this. Bam. View executed actions. Yeah, the conversation was transferred to a human, as you can see right here. How gangster is this? So pretty much. If I was an admin or if I was like giving the proper permissions on this platform, I now will get a notification on my email or on my phone saying, hey, this person needs to speak with you, please attend to them. And then I will jump onto this and just tap away. Now, once I'm done with everything and they've you know, gotten all their questions answered, I can simply click transfer conversation to bot and the bot is now active again. And that is how you set up the welcome message and the default reply for audio only chat. It is extremely easy and you've seen for yourself how incredible it truly is. Thanks for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one.